Hi, my name is David Eidosi, and in this video I will show you uh, a new workflow I have uh, had thanks to uh, my good friend Andre Maniscove inside of May 9 uh, 1.6.1. This new feature is uh, contextual marking menu based on the, curve, the current tool and uh, it's absolutely new for May 9. I want to open it and uh, copy the folder 2016 inside of my document folder to install and update my release. I want to back up first this one. Yeah, and now I can, and now I can pass it. But what's main line is? Main line is a freeware uh, set of tools for Maya 2016 that include some preferences, some scripts, and of course some plugins. Uh, first of all, what I want to mean with contextual uh, workflow or contextual marketing menu. If I press a Z and go to the middle mouse button, I have access to my universal marketing menu. From here I can create an object, for example, for example, a polygonal sphere. And um, if I want to interact with the sphere, for example, I load up a tool for do something, or I want to, um, I don't know, make some modeling and so you so tools, I need to press Z and left mouse button. So Z, left mouse button, I have access to my tools. Uh, now I'm going to the north, in the brush, and want to load up my 3D paint tool. Why I won't start to tool like this? This is because uh, um, now I have the now I'm on the key. I have the ability to read the um, to read the current tool. So now the current tool is 3D paint tools. So if I press Z and the middle mouse button, I have no more access to the universal marking menu, but I have access to the current tool marking menu. For example, in this case, the 3D paint marking menu. So now I want to paint color and I want to press Z and middle mouse button again and now I need to accent a texture. This is because as you can see now I have a great X. But I have missed something. So now I press the Q for quit the current tool and now I need to add new uh, new material. I want to work on a new material. So shift T and now I can load up for example a blind material. Very, very good material to work with. So, Z again, left mouse button, brushes, 3D paint tool. Now I can I can paint this because as you can see in the in the warning, I have no text or assigned to current attributes in the color attributes of the of the shader. So I need to press Z again with mouse button, assign edit texture, and I want to uh, increase a little bit the resolution up, and I want to use a T file assign the texture. Now what is the the behavior of these tools. I have a color and a fluid color. So this is a, the, the foreground color, this is a background color, so I can drive with click the color, but if I press Ctrl to click, I can use the float color, the, the, the background color in, in Photoshop fashion. But if I press Shift and continue to press Shift, I have this is a, interesting merging feature that lets me merge the color together and so on and so forth. Very, very interesting. Now is the time to add some little bit of transparency. So I want to press Z again, middle mouse button, and now is the time to paint transparency. Of course, uh, it gave me another warning. I want to work with uh, new texture. I need to sign for the transparency. And now, if the color is black, I have no transparency. But if the color is white, I have full transparency. So I need to increase this value. And now I can drive the transparency. But for transparency, I want to make something different. I want you to work in, in mirror mode, so I press Z, middle mouse button again, I want to mirror in X axis, in this axis. So now I can paint my transparency in mirror mode. Oh, very great, very interesting. And if I want to add a little bit of band mapping, I can do that too, directly from here. Of course I can, of course I can use the main 
the main uh, the main option bar here but uh, the tool setting bar here but I want to press Z middle mouse button again and go under the bump mapping and it will have new texture Z assign a new texture and now I can assign this new text and I can drive my bump mapping directly from here or for example I can press shift to smooth the 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 bump mapping or control for erase the map map my bump mapping but I want to erase and clean up this area as well so I press Z with the mouse button go back to the transparency press control and I can to remove the transparency from this area. As you can see, it's very interesting, very powerful way to work with Maya, to using uh, uh, in, in very fast way, in a lot more simple way, some tools like this one. Very, very, very interesting. Um, another tool I have uh, had uh, to this workflow is the Sculpt tool. So I press Z. Left, left mouse button, this is because I want new tools, so Z and left, left mouse button to have access to the contextual tools, contextual option for elements, in this case a mesh, a polygon, so now I want to use my Sculpt Geometry tool to add some Sculpt to this, and for, of course I can press Z and middle mouse button, change my tool, use the Freeze tool, the Grab tool, the, imp, the Imprint tool, or I can use my Mirror for this tool. Another elements I have had to this uh, to this uh, uh, workflow based on tools is the Quadra tool. So now I need to have access to my universal murky menu, but I, I guess, as you can see, I don't have access to that because the current tool, the Scalp tool. So I press Q for quit the current tool, and I press Z middle mouse button. And now I have my universal Mercury menu again, go to Node, and from Node I can draw up my Quadra tool, very fast, very simple. As you can see, I have the same texture applied to this, uh, to this shader, this is because the object is selected here, so um, the, same, uh, the same texture is applied to my Quadra tool, but it's not important now. Um, the really important thing is that if I add some more point I don't want, I can press Z and middle mouse button to clear the dots on the sole position, or if I have finished to use my Quadra tool, I can press Z again with my middle mouse button and to know or to complete the tool. So, great. I think so, uh, this had a lot of things to um, to May 9, and I think that this release of uh, MMT key is very powerful. If you want to change something, or want to add some new uh, tool, how you can do? It's very simple. Shift, Control, Alt, and Z to have access to the um, to the uh, MMT key uh, interfaces. And from here you have uh, the DAG node, the non-DAG node, the name, code name, panel, uh, all this stuff I already showed you in uh, some previous version, in the, some previous video. And uh, in the last position I have the tool. This is the tool I have, I have already mapped, but you can map every kind of tool you want. For example, oh, I want to search here. Uh, Alright, great. I want to create a control vertex tool. So now this tool is not mapped. So if I press Z and middle mouse button, you can see anything. But if I had this tool, as you can see here, is a load up. So now I'm selecting a, a general Mac menu. I don't have a Mac menu for that. I want to use the control vertex Mac menu, for example. So I'll show you for a, for a demo. Of course, you can create from tools. Uh, from uh, I want to create ones. All right, Merkin menu. Yeah, I want to load up this one. I can add to create Merkin menu. So I can call it tool underscore cv uh, underscore mm. All right. Now I can save that and I can apply that. I need to update this list. So file update. And now I find here my tool, control vertex, marking menu. So I can file, save for safety preferences. And now I want to create some, uh, some test. Print hello world. Oh, 
two, sorry, <laughs> great. Save this one, save this one, close. And now if I press Z, in the means about button, I can go in my test, as, as you can see, my Maya print, hello world. That's all for now. I hope you find this useful and bye.